Hey what is up guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to create a Minecraft server which will be running Dream's Manhunt plugin. Before I get into this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if you found this tutorial helpful in any way. Ok so in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make a spigot server first of all which will allow you to add the plugin and then how to actually get the plugin itself. So to start with all you're going to do is search up get bucket space spigot. And all you want to do is click on this first link and as always I'm going to be including every link I use in the description so you guys can find it easily hopefully. And then from here you just want to select the version uh, 1.16.4 which is what my plugin's running on. Of course if there's newer versions I will make an updated video um, but 1.17 isn't coming out for another year so this should be an up to date tutorial for quite a long time. So what you're going to do is hit download and then click this link here. Once it's downloaded all you want to do is click keep and then you want to make a folder first of all on your desktop or you can put it anywhere. This is going to be where your server files are stored so name it something I don't know like 1.16.4 server. From here all you want to do is drag the spigot-1.16.4.jar into this folder and then you want to run this jar. Ok so once you've done that you should get these three files as well as the spigot and you want to open up the eula.txt and you want to change this false value to true. Ok so now you want to run the spigot jar again. And as you can see here it might take a while but what it's doing is it's creating all of the server files so here you go and this should be running now so what you want to do is just wait for this spawn area to be prepared and then we can start adding the plugins okay so once your server's done you just want to type in here stop and your server will stop and it should automatically close this java so there you go and what we want to do first is actually add a new text document in here you want to name this something like start or run or whatever you want to do and then you want to open that up and you want to copy and paste this code that I have in the description of my video. Now what this does is it runs the server using 4 gigabytes of RAM and it doesn't create that Java GUI so it uses the CMD instead which is a lot more efficient. You can change this value here um, Obviously the 4 means 4 gigabytes, so you can change this to whatever you want your server to have. So once you've done that you want to hit file save, close that and then on here you want to right click, click rename and where it says .txt you want to highlight that and change that to .bat. When this pop up comes up you want to just press yes. And now you've got a batch file so this will run the spigot jar without the java GUI. Ok so what you want to do now is download the plugins. So I've got both of these linked in the description so you just want to download both. So here you just want to click the blue download button, don't click anything else. There's going to be pop ups that come up and stuff like that. So as you can see here there was an advertisement that came up on, a, another, on another tab but you just want to ignore that and it will download it here at the bottom and you want to keep that. And then you want to download the other one as well. Once again you just click the blue download button. So now that you've got both of these downloaded. You just want to open up the server folder, open the plugins folder and put both of these inside of it. Now you're pretty much ready to go. You do need to make sure that your server properties are correct. Um, obviously these will be default to the spigot defaults but you can change any of these that you need to change. To run the server you're also going to need to port forward 25565 in your router settings which can be found online. So once you've done all your server properties and set everything up you just want to hit file save. You can close out of that now and you can close out of the CMD as well. And now you're pretty much good to go. You just double click the start.bat and your server should build. Sometimes it says server will start in 20 seconds. Don't worry about that. All you have to do is just wait. In the meantime I'm going to load up my client to show you this working. Ok so once your server says done all you need to do is join that server. 
as you can see here I'm in the spigot server I've joined on my other account um, it's up there as you can see so first of all I'm gonna opt myself in the command prompt by typing op and then my name once I've done this it allows me to use commands such as slash kill and you want to do this in order to get the compass so as you can see here you won't get the compass unless you die and what this does is once you respawn it automatically gives you a compass which has vanishing on it meaning once you die you don't actually drop the compass so as you can see here every time you right click the compass it updates its pointer location to the nearest player near you so if you want to have multiple hunters all you have to do is right click your teammate and as you can see plonker gym is now ignored by the compass so now when i right click it won't track him it will track the other player on the server which of course i don't have another third person on right now but if i did it would be tracking them and it wouldn't track this person because i've right clicked them if i want to add them back all i have to do is right click them again and as you can see they are no longer ignored by the compass so when i right click they're tracked again and that's all you have to do in order to get the dream man hunt plugin of course this is a plugin specifically made by me so it's not the official dream one if you do want the official dream one you do need to pay for his patreon i think it's 20 dollars a month and you get all of his plugins um so you know that's that's not a bad deal but this is free here but the only disadvantage to my one is that you obviously need two plugins firstly and also it does not track in the nether yet but i may update the plugin so that it does do that hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and if you got stuck at any point just make sure to leave a comment down below and i should be able to help you out make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video I don't even need the digits. She got me on IG. She know I wanna see you in slow motion. Come stay the night. We can stay till it's bright in the morning. Got the top open. Come take a ride.